Good morning, Chattanooga. Here's a quick look at today's top five stories. First of all, our exclusive investigation into a local FBI agent continues. It turns out that before Special Agent Ken Hillman and dozens of his criminal cases came under scrutiny, the agent called another officer and confessed his romantic relationship with a local millionaire's wife. Hillman said a complaint had been made to the FBI of him sleeping with Angela Russell. He admitted he let Russell ride along on undercover operations at least twice and put the handcuffs on potential suspects, which broke multiple FBI policies. New recordings also reveal that Hillman rented an apartment from Russell without telling the FBI and used it to hold video chats with potential suspects. He told an officer that the FBI didn't allow the use of such off-site secret locations for interrogation. Also in crime news, Randall Reed has been found guilty in the 2011 murder of a 70-year-old East Ridge woman. A jury found that Reed walked into the home of Jane Stokes, bound her hands behind her back with zip ties, and then wrapped her head in cellophane, leaving her to die of suffocation. Within hours of the woman's death, ATM cameras captured photos of Reed using her debit card and PIN number to withdraw money from her account. He turned himself in after local media ran the photos, but Reed took the stand during his trial to say he didn't kill the woman. He now faces a life sentence in prison. Next up, a new bill in Georgia would lighten the penalty for teen sexting there. Right now, teens can face felony child pornography charges for sending each other nude photos. And a teen convicted of felony sexting would have to register as a sex offender. That would change under legislation sponsored by State Representative Jay Neal. The new law would make it a misdemeanor for someone at least 14 years old to send a sexually explicit photo to someone who's 18 or younger. The bill passed in the House and Senate without a single vote in opposition. Governor Nathan Deal is expected to sign it. Next up, visitors to the new Chattanooga History Center will hear a familiar voice when they're greeted by a 10-minute orientation film. Actor and Chattanooga native Samuel L. Jackson has provided narration for the film. Now, while the film was shot here, Jackson actually recorded his part at a remote location. The star was contacted through some board members who knew him and were told he immediately agreed to the project. Jackson was recently named the most successful actor in history based on the total revenue from all his films, more than $7 billion. The Chattanooga History Center is set to open in early 2014. Next up, the American Quilter Society has announced that it will bring its quilt show to Chattanooga for the next three years. That would make it the biggest convention in Chattanooga's history. The annual events, starting in September 2014, are expected to attract 20,000 quilters every year and pump a total of $30 million into the local economy. And finally, the most expensive home in the Chattanooga area is now up for grabs. The mansion cost $15 million to build and is listed on the market for $5.3 million. The Windy Hills estate was built in 2002 by Elizabeth Fuller, the mother of U.S. Express co-founder Max Fuller. The house and grounds will sell to the highest bidder on May 10th. And today will be mostly sunny with a high temperature near 84 degrees. There's a chance of thunderstorms after 2 a.m. tonight with a low around 61. I'm Harrison Keeley. For more on these stories and updates throughout the day, follow us on Facebook and visit timesfreepress.com.